You want to take some more calls on this? Yes, why not? I want to talk about uh, the first time we saw Mom's patch. We'll do that in a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I remember this. That's a, better, that's a better topic. You're right. But we, all these guys have been waiting here yeah, forever. It's flooded. Billy, New Rochelle. 866-313-FREE. The topic is, uh, do these people have a, a lawsuit here? Should they take up together collectively? After being stranded. Right? Yeah, a, a lawsuit uh, against JetBlue. Stranded on the tarmac for 12 hours, no food, no water. Deal with it. What's up, Bill? What up? Let me get a skillet. Skillet, skillet to, to the, the head. head. Which one? 20 now? 19. 19. Ah. Listen. I was ah. On a no, I'm more damn it. If I'm looking. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm in the cupboard for five minutes, then you're not going to go, I don't want eggs, Mom. Blender, waffle iron, there it you're is. still getting it. Go ahead, Bill. So the kid doesn't want eggs, you just hit him in the back of the head. Well, you didn't want and go back to your room. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I was on a runway at O'Hare, right after 9 11, and everyone. Ow! That's what of me. I can't think straight now. I was on a runway at 6,000, and I talked to my cousin, who's a real guinea, you know, real, real guinea like me, but he yeah. said you can't get nothing because on the back of the ticket, it's oh, a plane. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't sign that ticket, do you? Yeah, but once you buy it, you've, you've accepted you the rules and regulations. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's that's trickery right there. That's tomfoolery. That's scammery. <laughs> that is, a, yeah. You can't just print a whole bunch of stuff on there. What if they said, you know, you and you also promise to take care of JetBlue if we ever go bankrupt? Yeah. You'll, you'll sell your couches. What? And then because I buy it... And it's well, in a small little print. Silly. Buyer beware. Yeah, welcome right. To Read the That's small cool. print. That's it. Buyer beware. Welcome to America. That's what it says on the ticket. <laughs> it says on the Constitution. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jen in Queens. Hello, Jen. Hey. Hi, Jen. I think if um, someone was hurt from it or if a child was distraught, that possibly there's like restitution that should be there. But yeah. I don't think suing because you lost 12 hours of your life. Right. I mean, how many of us have stood in line for concert tickets only to find, you know, when the concert comes, they cancel the concert? Oh, that, again, I come out swinging. Yeah. Ha! At who? Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hear that story really quick? Please do. Yes. Prince concert. I'm um, going to take my lady out to it, and we're going with uh, some other couples. And we're we're getting dressed, uh, or we're, we're, we're getting ready for it first. Let me take you to it the day before. And my... Girlfriend at the time. Now my wife, she's pulling out her clothes. Mm. And I said, honey, you, look what it says on the ticket. Wear purple. Uh, and she goes, well, not everyone's. I said, e we're going to look like idiots. Everyone's going to wear purple. And all these diehard fa fans are going to be like, why aren't you wearing purple? Right, right. Chastised. So we go down to shop and she gets something, you know, cool. Hot. Something right, nice. Sure. Um, it's, you know, just really sexy and sequins and all that stuff. And. I couldn't find anything. Finally, in Macy's, I found this uh, checkered purple and white shirt. <laughs> I hated it, but, but I'm like, all right, but doing, I yeah. still, yeah, at least I'm, I'm in the fun. theme. Yes. Right. <laughs> Limo comes by and picks us up. You know, it's, it's all taken care of. So all the friends pile in. None of my friends, you know, have any purple on. It's just me and my lady. <laughs> And I'm like, you dummies are like, what? I go, look at the ticket, man. He <laughs> says wear purple. I mean, Small the whole thing print. is supposed to be like, you know, every, everyone in the audience is wearing purple. Mm -hmm. I get to the thing, and it's only me and my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only ones. And I got this stupid purple shirt. And I could have sworn as I'm walking through, you know, all the, as you're going through the corridors, and then yeah. you're going to get down to your seats and all this, people were looking at me like, man, why are you doing this? Why are you showing up Prince? Yeah. <laughs> why Why'd you guys have to go? That purple and white tablecloth you were wearing. <laughs> Prince actually stopped. He went, <laughs> and he's staring at me like, hey, this is not your show, dude. <laughs> why? Why did you do this? Didn't you read the ticket? You can't show me up. <laughs> said, Don't wear purple. Right. <laughs> Don't wear purple. You're not Prince. Who's going to Bob in New York? Hello, Bob. Bob. Bob had enough. Hey. Oh, there he is. Right there. What's up, buddy? No, I just dozed out on that purple story. Oh! Um, <laughs> they owe them a service. So for every hour they were stuck on the tarmac, they get an hour of flight. Um, uh, That's a free round trip. See that, yeah. No. Or a couple round trips. No. That's cool with that. I think they should yeah. get some free stuff. That's fair. But... Yeah. And I don't know. I That's think fair. They're, they're owed more than that. Not cash. Not like a million dollars. I'm not talking about a million dollars. Like 10 but like, grand? Yeah. No. 10 grand. No. Right. No yeah. 10 grand. A piece. No as That's much as they make. Yep. 10 grand. Absolutely not. No. For spending 12 hours. I want to see if you guys can do it. If you can sit out on the tarmac Problem. with all of these sick people and everyone's 
coughing oh. and they're lying to you and you're starving. Let's say you Go didn't get anything in the morning to eat. And you had nothing to drink, and now you're on this thing for 12 hours. You be can't prepared, just go baby. to sleep. Just be prepared. Be prepared. Just That's don't. It. You know what? I just you, think... you can't take on liquids or canteens or, or weapons anymore. <laughs> so how are you going to be prepared? Just eat beforehand. You can bring on food now. You can do Most that. Most of the people ate the back of either someone's <laughs> hair or the seat. Exactly, or the uh, thing underneath the seat there. What's it called? Oh, forget it. Yeah, move on, go please. To regular Rob. What's <laughs> up, buddy? Strong Island Doghouse. What? what? Gentlemen, the biggest problem here is... There were no crank waters, no ham sandwiches, and these people should get five grand apiece because the airline blew it. Sometimes that's the best way to let him go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's the best. Polish Paul, Jersey, what's up? Dog house. What? I get a frying pan to uh, Rob over there. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Polish Paul. What's nice. up? Yeah, I think uh, all the people they could get a like a class action lawsuit uh, for false imprisonment. Don't there you think? go. Oh, yeah. Come on, imprisonment. You're you're equating a plus oh. leather seat and 36 right. channels of Direct TV oh, to prison. Baloney. You're <laughs> hyping this thing up like it was a pleasurable 12 hours. <laughs> Direct TV. You spit all the way over to me Sorry. with that one. Sorry. How did you spit so far? I just went like that. That was like five feet from me, and you just spit on my face. You've been farting on me all morning. Deal with it. There's a distance between us. <laughs> sorry about that. Fart spit. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, Rich, what's up, bud? <laughs> Going on. Hello? Rich. Hey, yo, dog out. What? what? Sky Blue, or Jet Blue, whatever the hell her name is, <laughs> right. she gave everybody a crank water, an eye poke, and a frying pan to the back of the head. That's what they deserve. I was on a flight to Florida once, hour and a half. Sat by the bathroom. Do you know how heinous those seats are? You there? <laughs> Got our boy Deshaun out of Rutgers. Deshaun, what's up? Dog house. What? <laughs> oh, you're killing me. You're killing me over here. Yeah, killing your eyes. What's up? Anyway, I think that was wrong, man. I think... All of the people on the plane definitely deserve something. Like, come on, now. That was definitely wrong. Yellow. Dog out. Jit, 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 jit. Jersey. Dog out. Jit, jit, jit. Jit, jit, jit. Jersey. Jit, jit, jit. Dog out. You got it, you got it, you got it. You know you got so You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, that, that, so, so. Hey, hey, you got to be it, be it, be it. Yeah. Uh, city tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm close to two. Sucker city tomorrow, yeah. city tomorrow.
New Jersey Doghouse Rockers in the house with David Elvis, the Doghouse. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, what did I just do? The doghouse is back quicker than you could down a crank water. A 92.3 Weekdays noon to 3 on 3 Nick DiPaolo. There's a study done at Duke University saying that men are kind of uh, biologically wired to ignore their wives. I know we definitely do, and I think, I'd, I'd say my wife does it to me. Let's go to Stevie in New Jersey. I don't do it on purpose, but half the time she talks, I'm like, oh, that was great. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Sit down and turn on a hockey game. She can have me between periods. Anything else, I really don't hear. <laughs> my wife says that to me. I can have her in between periods. <laughs> Nick DeVolo, weekdays, noon to 3, New York's 92.3, free FM. Oh, that was great. Who's this? Hello? Hello? Who's this? Uh, this is PT. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, can you go somewhere else? Because i got to do a commercial right now. All right. All right. We'll yeah. see, you, see you tomorrow, buddy. Peace. All right. High-definition television is a huge investment. You want to make sure you get the most out of it.